We start with news of South Korea's second spy satellite being placed in orbit from U.S. soil just hours earlier. I have my colleague Trim Minjong standing by live with details. Minjong, do fill us in. Sunny, the country's second military reconnaissance satellite lifted off at around 8.17 a.m. Korea time from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The satellite successfully entered orbit after separating from the rocket some 45 minutes after launch. And it succeeded in communicating with the ground station at a second attempt at around 10.57 a.m. This means the satellite is currently operating as planned. The launch follows another successful liftoff last December, and as was the case then, the satellite was carried by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Right, Min Jung, I understand the second satellite differs from the first one. How exactly does it differ? Right, the first satellite was an EOIR satellite equipped with an electro-optical and infrared sensor. It can capture detailed images, but visibility depends on the weather and time of day. The second satellite, however, is a SAR satellite equipped with synthetic aperture radar sensors. The system captures clear images day or night, regardless of weather conditions. The EOIR satellite checks in on the Korean peninsula twice a day, but the SAR satellite does so about four to six times a day. This means the military can perform twice as many reconnaissance activities with the launch of the second satellite. Right, I see. Also, Minjong, this latest launch, it's part of the broader 425 mission of the military. Do tell us more. The mission's goal is to have five satellites in orbit by 2025 to boost surveillance of the Korean Peninsula amid North Korea's growing nuclear and missile threats. The first satellite will be joined in orbit by four SARS, and when all five operate together, the military is expected to have coverage at about two-hour intervals. Today's launch comes as North Korea also ramps up its spying activities. The North launched its first spy satellite last November and aims to launch three more this year. Observing the launch at the defense ministry this morning, Seoul's defense minister Shin won shik said the regime is likely to launch another in mid to late April. Despite the regime's ongoing efforts, the ministry showed confidence that South Korea's military space technology is far more advanced than the North's. This is all I have for now. Back to you, Sunny. All right, Min Jung, thank you for that coverage. That was our correspondent, Chairman Jung, reporting from the Defense Ministry.